We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. And he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in the northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here. So he's well known. And he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right. What you want to do with your arborvitae is when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow, and if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants, branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just, this is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around. We'll make a nice, fat, heavy plant. On Green Giants, you get a lot of vigorous growth, so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. On the Emerald Greens, it's a much fatter, fuller plant, so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back, go around the plant, and again, you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top, and that'll make a nice, full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you. We're at Highland Hill Farm, and this is Marge Hurst. I'm Bill Hurst. We're going to talk to you today a little bit about the proper spacing for the emerald green arborvita when you're planting them. First of all, we have a tape measure here, string, some stakes, and some flags in order to do this job. And we set the, uh, the trees back about 30 inches from the property line or the edge of where we want to plant because we have to make sure that the trees have room to grow and expand so that they don't take over the parking lot or they don't take over a walkway or they encompass and grow onto your neighbor's property. So now what Marge is going to do is she's going to show you how we reset the tape and start the, the layout where we're going to plant. She's going to set the tape at 36 inches because that's what we recommend as the best spacing for this tree. At 36 inches they will form a wall and be dense and full in no time at all. Okay, She sets the first one down and puts a flag in place. And she sets the next one down and puts the flag in place. There's a lot of stone in this area, so it's a little bit difficult to put the little flags in. You don't have to use a flag. You can use paint if you want to use paint. But why waste paint when you can reuse the flags for something else some other day? And there you have it. There's, there's the line that we're going to show you how to do. Okay, now, when you go to plant, you know exactly where you're going to dig. You take your line away and after your lines away you're ready to start to plant and again as we say you should plant these about three feet apart and what you're going to do next is you're going to dig your hole and put them in and remove the flag as you go down the line 
And these little critters here, they grow very fast. The important thing is to make sure that they have moisture. And what we do in the nursery here is we use our drip irrigation system. And we like to see you put the drip irrigation line down when you're doing like 20, 30, 40 trees. Because you cannot water these by hand very well just with a garden hose. So the drip water line will work very well. And again, you want to, just to remind you, you want to be 30 to 36 inches away from a property line, preferably about 30 inches, and space them out about three feet apart. Some people do three and a half, but it takes a long time for the trees to fill in. And if the trees are touching, like right you see here, there'll be branch dieback. So the idea is not to start them off touching. You want to have a little space and a gap in between each tree. And again, you can see when you get all done, your trees will be a nice straight line. And you can adjust the tree in the hole as you're digging the hole to make sure you get your center centered. So that's, that's what we suggest. Thank you, and we'll show you more pictures of these trees. Thank you.